What's going on, y'all? Smash that every bike here or another video for y'all today. Today, we're going to be doing some old track racing. Uh, start off, we're going to be racing at Richmond, which is pretty crazy. I don't know how this is going to go. Honestly, I know. Um, 7% four times. That's fucking ridiculous. Four times on 7%. You're just begging. Just begging. Um, so we did all the setups and all that earlier. Um, which was a little weird, not gonna lie. Took a long time to get done. I think it's all gonna be worth it in the end. Headset back on before the race starts. That'd be great. Richmond probably wasn't the best of tracks to warm up on. I forgot how tight my Richmond car was. Richmond is not an easy track to race at. Whatsoever. One of my biggest issues is I'm scared to hit the brake pedal. I'm scared of locking up. So I don't want to lock those tires up. Especially down low into turn one. Um, turn one is scary. Because if you hit the bottom of this track, you're going to spin out. Without a doubt. If I had steering wheel though, I'd be so much better. So that force feedback and that brushless motor in the steering wheels, man, it's just un... You just can't match it on the controller. So on the controller, I know that I have to pull it to the left. And I know I'm going to have to pull hard and... It just doesn't leave me with enough. It doesn't leave me with enough room to really get into it. So we're going to be begging for these green white or for these yellow flags. to the wall see if I can if I can exit the corners like that every time that'd be great I love the feeling of
Winter deck corner way too hot. Exit it way too hot. Lost a lot of speed off of that turn. Came into that turn way too hot. Not even quite sure if we needed the pit, but we went ahead and pitted anyway. Hit the wall a little bit there, exiting. This tire is really starting to become an issue.
wasn't terrible, wasn't the best. Letting the finish with the 105 speed right at all, but could have been worse. It was nice to race Richmond though, the warm up on. Not happy with the finish. Everybody had a three second gap on them. If we ran Richmond again, um, I think I'd have a good chance to keep up there with the uh, leading leaders. I'm not racing Sonoma. Please don't go to Sonoma. Please select the next track in the sequence. Thank you. I race Dover. Don't get me wrong, I ain't no problem racing Dover. I don't like the fact that I can't I'm not gonna be able to duck in the inside or anything like that, but Man, it's really hot. Like it is super hot in here. I'll tell y'all one thing, NASCAR Heat 2 is nothing like iRacing, especially with the controller. But, it's honestly harder to get people to watch the iRacing stuff compared to the NASCAR games. I don't know why, but it is. I've posted stuff with the um, iRacing teams and stuff like that for like the money. Uh, money leaks and stuff like that. Um, I've posted races where I bought in a race team. I've post posted races where I raced for race teams, and it just just nothing, nothing that you can really do about it. All right, let's go to Dover. I'll go ahead, and go to fourth gear. You're gonna run me up the fucking track, that's what's gonna happen. That's what happens every week. Okay, everybody else is pitting. We'll go ahead and pit too. Oh, uh, well, apparently it didn't count. I got way too low.
Hello. Come on, man. Alright, we'll go ahead and fit. We'll loosen the car up just a little bit. Take those four tires, see what happens. We're kind of running a little bit tight. You motherfucker. Y'all are ridiculous, man. You can't drive. I don't know who's in that green and white car, but they are really fucking bad. Nice car, you want to do something about that? that that's something that nice car needs to implement that iRacing does very very well <sighs> iRacing does not take any crap if you are in too many incidents in a short period of time where you cannot drive then they don't they're just not gonna deal with it they're not gonna it's just not gonna be a thing Fucker, dude. We'll go ahead and pit. And they can point fingers all they want in that point, but when I have a car in front of me that is not fast and I lift the pedal, whoever was running that low line should have known that I've already lifted the pedal on the high line driver. And then at that point they should have tried to make an aggressive mood move. I'm already Come on, dude. You guys cannot drive. You guys are already way too aggressive. So I'm just going to fall back and sit back here for a while. This car is way too tight. Add some more tape. We'll run 49 with some more tape. We'll see what happens. Getting a little bit aggressive out here. It's all about that wedge adjustment at the end of the day. We'll sit there and adjust that wedge. Play with the wedge, add some fuel to the car. You are the reason. 
And you got that guy right there. So I'm going to go ahead and lift off the throttle. Oh, come on, dude. Come on. You have no even. Why are you on the racetrack right now? I don't know why that guy's on the racetrack. I really don't. I don't understand why he's here. I don't even know who he is. I understand Dover's a tight track and it's a fast track and it's Monster Mile and all that. And everybody gets real excited, especially in these ending laps right here. But there's really just no reason for him to be driving his car like that not only that but he's not even getting up to speed right here off the start like what is that like what were you trying to accomplish right there already seen two people trying to wreck and then out of nowhere two more people started to wreck well in that case there's four five six seven so okay well that guy's gonna pit since he's gonna pit and that puts us in a better position put us on the outside but which is not where we want to be at all not at Dover What are you doing? I don't understand what that 83 is doing. We won't even be able to get out of this lap. There won't be an end to this race. We've been in overtime now for how long? What are you doing, 21? I understand I hit that wall back there, but I ain't, dude. Eighteen. I don't know what happened to the 18, dude. <sighs> Man. This came down to man at 83, he cannot drive. 
That 21 was a fucking mess too. 18. I don't know what happened to the 18. 18 was running. It's two fourth place finishes at short tracks. Homestead's not going to be any better. I ain't think Homestead's going to be worse. Can't, oh, we'll fucking run these boys in Kansas. We do pretty decent at Kansas. Let's just go see what see what the hell they're saying in here. Mute the mic. So, they talking about putting money on the race and this and that. So I'm like, oh, my home track, my home track. Well, let me tell you about something about you. I guarantee you, the boy, he was in the yellow and red car last race. The boy that couldn't get up to speed. He was slowing the whole field down. Talking about, oh, this is my home track. This is my home track. I'm going to race my home track. And I'm going to win at my home track. I guarantee y'all. He doesn't do nothing here. Because they always talk a big game. They'll talk a big game coming into it, but when it comes down to it, I ain't gonna do nothing. It's gonna get dirty in turn one. Look at him, not doing nothing, sitting in P5. Cody's gonna come down, we're gonna try to make a move down low. That's what happens when you don't lift. They won't run that high line, but they don't want to lift off the throttle. You're on the high line, it's all about who's below you. out. I think what we'll go ahead and do is we'll add two on the tape and we'll drop this wedge down. be okay with that we'll drop two spots but it ain't that big of a deal home track heroes up there in first right now though he ain't moving nowhere so we'll go ahead and just go to fourth gear early on I don't know what this 21's doing. Hold the wheel. 
but he's driving like a dick so we're gonna bump him up the track Still a little bit too tight. What the hell are y'all doing? So we'll go ahead and drop it down some more. Look, hometown hero, just because you ain't got a car to fucking compete here don't mean you got to sit in the middle of the fucking track like a dick. You piece of shit. Get your slow ass out of here. Alright. Told him. <laughs> Eighteen, give me a little bit of room, buddy. Straight down the track. Too tight. <sighs> Our car is way too tight. Look at this guy. Inside, Everybody's gonna go in for the pit. See where we end up at. Same position. This is I'm telling. We can get through one lap without people acting up. That'd be great.
That 48 can't drive. Yellow and red car ain't got, you can't get on the throttle. Tell him some words. Forty eight, I understand you can't drive. I just want to let you know that I am recording your punk ass right now, so everybody else will know you can't drive too. Fuck away from me. I'm all the way on the fucking apron if it makes you feel better. Come on, hometown hero. I see you, buddy. I know you can't drive neither. See, I could understand the wrecking at Dover, short track, monster mile, real fast, real tight, but fucking Kansas? Lift the fucking throttle and turn left, it ain't that fucking hard. It's almost Talladega. Mr. Hometown Hero finished P7. Good thing he didn't put no money on the race. He'd been broke as shit. Cody done took all his fucking money, man. Nah, man. Jesus Christ. Or what? You can't race at fucking Kansas. Try to pass below the yellow line. What about the other three fucking yellows that got thrown out? Because you can't drive where shit's sitting in the middle of the fucking track beating your dick. You fucking idiot. God damn, you're fucking retarded.
Motherfucker just try to sit there and blame me for trying to pass money to your line as he fucking drug me down under the bitch. I say. It don't matter. Forty-eight ain't worth the fuck. He can get my dick. That's about it. Oh look, there he goes again. It's fucking forty-eight, man. I ain't worth the fuck. I'm telling you, man, he ain't worth shit. I really wish they'd start fucking setting this shit up like I racing, man. On I racing, you got too many fucking incidents in a short period of time. They fucking suspend your ass. He's in P4, so get okay. ready for a fucking wreck on the fourth fucking corner. Masons. Once I get the speed, his punk ass ain't gonna be able to catch me, so it don't make a difference. when the spotter tells me that was a great lap and I just ran a 55. Jesus Christ. Fuck it. I'll get my fuel and fucking four tires. Fuck it. Might as well. It ain't like it's gonna be the last fucking caution anyway. There'll be eight more. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Oh, fuck. Leave it to fucking Cody to split that gap. I'm on the wall. I ain't no getting off that motherfucker. That motherfucker try to eat you.
Holy shit, we made it a full lap. Spoke too soon. Pretty sure that's certain. Guns are fucking 48. Oh, oh. Oh, I see that big bitch. He going down the apron. He only realized he ain't got a fucking draft to fucking keep with me. He's trying to beat us in the fucking corner. It ain't gonna work. God damn it.
Thank fucking God, man. Now maybe we can actually fucking race. That'd be good. Ran fucking. Same cash league. Fifty dollars a driver. One team takes it all. How far I wish. Take a vote to kick the fucking banana. Fucking hometown hero here. Brothers his uncle. Sisters, his mom. <sighs> I 
just give it a minute. I'm sure this will fucking wreck me once I get up here on him. calling cautions in this game until somebody fucking flips. Fuck's my caution at? I'm saying how you're fucking. What the fuck, man? Can't get a fucking caution to save my fucking life. Yeah, fuck it. Hold on, your brother's coming. There you go. Oh, no caution off that. Oh, there we go. Just takes the fucking brothers, the fucking butt heads, and we pull them fucking cautions out. I need a pit. Alright. Give me the wave around. Please. There it is. Come on. It's a 21. Some people just don't know what a straight line means. It's alright. It's understandable though. Some of us didn't finish first grade. I understand. I can't fucking hold it straight long. Couple turbos. You ever heard of a double tur or a fucking dual turbo? Yeah, uh, well that bitch is a triple turbo. Mm. 
Yeah, I'll tell you what, why the fuck I paid all this money for the electric bill to turn the AC on? The fucking AC don't even work where the fuck. A fucking three hundred dollars right there to keep that bitch open. <laughs> Leave something around this bitch. <laughs> oh man. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> God damn well, that is not a good idea neither. <laughs> you better take this shit back to fucking Daytona or something. <laughs> fucking, we ain't gonna never leave the caution. Oh shit, he kicked to it. <laughs> Fuck him. Be good. Ready. Steady. Green going green. Green going. Oh, this motherfucker so tight. your home oh truck God. ain't too far from me station in Fort Lee right now yeah that's down off uh, 81 okay well, yeah, I'm from South Carolina but I'm stationed over here in Fort Lee right now Towards the beach, Chesterfield, all that, or not Chesterfield, Petersburg. Fuck this place. I'm ready to get the fuck out of here. I went to the uh, Richmond race the other week, though. That was pretty badass. Shit up. I thought that place would be fucking packed, but shit, nobody fucking goes. Shit, fuck, I get down to fucking tell the dagger and fucking Daytona Beach. Shit, that motherfucker packed to the brim. Charlotte, whole store weekend. Might as well bring a fucking camper or a tent or something with you because you ain't fucking getting out of them places. And if you do fucking manage to get out, you're getting pulled over because everybody fucking thinks you're fucking driving drunk. And in reality, you're just driving like an asshole because you're ready to fucking be sitting in line for three hours trying to fucking pull out. Shit. I 
I grew up racing dirt tracks for a while, but I like asphalt racing. Yeah, that's pretty great too. This fucking track sucks. Spend money on something. <laughs> oh, fuck. I like old Chase. Talking about uh, what the fuck's that boy's name? Shit. Chris something. I don't know who fucking decided it was a good idea to put him in a fucking Hendrick car. Picked up on Chase for most reason. Fucking Jeff Gordon retired and fucking Dale retired, and I liked his daddy, so I figured I'd fucking start following him. He gonna new face. I ain't a bad driver. He just can't fucking seem to fucking close the win though. Shit, fucking two damn Daytona races he let fucking pass. Could have won both of them. Everybody hated him for a while there and said that my fucking stupid son of a bitch can't drive. So he drives like an asshole. <laughs> I said, have you not seen his dad race? His dad raced like that too. Fucking all over, up and down the fucking track, fucking pushing people up against the wall and shit. You seen that, uh, seen that Dale Jr. tribute video a couple months ago? It's called, uh, One Last Ride. Man, that shit was badass. I ain't never had a fucking heartfelt moment on a fucking video for NASCAR before, but that was one of them. Time flies, man. I feel like just fucking yesterday he was in the fucking bud. I swear, man, fucking, he raced good fucking back after his dad died in the Daytona, the next Daytona race he won, but I swear to God they let him win that motherfucker. But it's just like ever since his dad died, he just, he, he just don't race, he race scared. Going in the wall.
Fucking Cody Goat, motherfucker. I had to spit. <laughs> I figured shit, fucking I ain't gonna win the motherfucker anyway. Might as well fucking go ahead and take a spit. Surprise we ain't how many yellows we had? I think we only had one yellow flag. We hadn't had one? Maybe it's all the fucking ones from earlier that I fucking remember. Oh motherfucker. Well, I just got black flag. I fucking hit the curb and it bounced me into the pit lane. I got a 30 second pit time, so that's fucking two laps down right there. It wasn't like I was, I was already a lap down, so now I'm three down. <laughs> Fuck it. I might as well just fucking put the bitch back in the garage and call it a day. Fucking not Darlington. And not a road course. Anywhere else, I care less. Yeah, I like Richmond. Yeah, that's where we raced at. That was the first race we raced in when I got in the lobby. What's wrong, Cody? You tired of losing? Softball game. What kind of? Okay. That's more understandable. Yes, sir. All right, buddy. I still ain't finished the damn race. There we go. Well, my speed rate 102 my ass. I don't know how I got that. Probably all the times I didn't hit the fucking wall. Oh, fuck. Tell you what, I wouldn't mind. A what? Hey, I'm here. The fuck is that? Might have looked that up. Hair pie. Is that a hairy pussy? Is that what a hair pie is? That's what it says on Google. The auto code, auto code is fun. I ain't raced there in a fucking long time. I don't remember if I need to hit the brakes or not, so I guess we're gonna find out.
Hit the fucking gas, bitch. Oh yeah. Well, let's see here. There ain't much reason. that all up. Oh 
ahead and take a pit. Lay some damn car up some more. Track adjustments. Well, there you will. Yes, sir. four tires.
Well, I think that's enough bitching and moaning out of me for today. Hope y'all enjoyed that.